What's up guys and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial of how to add games to your website. Now I've done two um, parts of how to create a website already. I've done the main base, how to create a website and how to use, get a domain name. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to add games to your website. Okay so firstly you're going to go to Weebly.com and sign in to your account. If you don't have an account, sign up. And if you don't know how to make a website, I I've made um a how I've made a tutorial of how to, and that link will be in the description and on my channel. So, okay, once you've logged on, you're going to click Edit Your Website. This is Mad Man Man, which we've been working on for a while, and now it's not TK. Now it works like a charm. Uh, the link to this um, website will be in the description as well. Now, let's just give it a couple of minutes to load. Right, anyway. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click Pages. Now, when you're uploading games, there's two ways you can do it. HTML, which means that you're kind of getting hosted by that website, okay? And SWF, meaning you just put it on, on your website. Now, both of them are free, okay, you can put thousands of games on. Now, you're going to type in, let's for instance, now, I don't know what game I'm going to do, so I'm just going to open a tab and write something like, okay, I'm going to think of a good game that I like. For instance, I'm going to go for Run 2. Okay. So I'm going to go to a website, Congreta. Okay, now to get this game, all right, sorry, I got out of that. So this is the website. This is what uh, the game looks like. Okay, really good game. Awesome. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go into Google. Now this is the real part. Okay, so once you found a game like I was doing before, okay, you're going to go. You're going to search Run Two. SWF download. Okay. So you need to just open quite a few. Now, there is. It can be sometimes quite hard to like find what what you're looking for. Just keep downloading the files. Now you can convert it um into a .dot <laughs> Sorry about that guys. Right, you're going to click download file, you're going to save, save as, save it, so I'm going to just save it at the desktop, okay. Right, the first thing you're going to want to do with the first one is write in the name of your game. So, run to, so put no header on there because it's just going to be really basic. Let's click save and edit. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is drag your elements. Now, I recommend writing a tight an advertisement title description game. That's what I used to do on um, my um, own um, websites. But what I'm going to do, just for you guys, is rush through it. So I'm not. Gonna, I'm just going to do an SW uh, file. Now, right now you're going to be looking. Is really slow for some reason. Right, let's just go to media because it should be there if I'm right. Yeah, there we go. It's called Flash. It's because um, I used a less updated version when I used to make them about a half a, a half a year ago. So it's called Flash. It just has that A. So you go drag and drop. Just wait a couple of seconds. Right, the first thing you're going to do is click it. Really simple. This is. Uh, let's just move it to the middle because that's where I've all moved things to the middle. Upload new file. So annoying. Anyway, um, let's go to desktop now. Run to. It's a shockwave flash object. Sorry about this. Now it takes roughly for games. It can take from ten seconds. You have one second of uploading to about ten minutes, depending on the size of the game. That one quick, quick, quick. 
Okay, that's now already you can see something coming up. I don't actually want to do that yet. I'm just going to move it to the middle. I forgot that you have to actually upload it before you can move it. Okay, so once you've done that, just yeah, it works and everything. Now, the next thing we're going to do is um, make another page. Now, I'm going to put another, on another game, okay? But this time it's going to be HTML. Now, HTML will be blocked at schools if it's like Mini Clip or a really well known gaming website. But if you use SWF, they can't block it. Well, they can block your website, but yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go to miniclip.com. Okay, now, mini click offer, um, so you can learn your favourite game, you can also put it in, um, on your website. Now, it is free to put it on your website. They might have an ad on it, it doesn't really matter, an ad is an ad, it has to have an ad on. Okay, um, but, yeah, so, they will allow you to have the game on. Now, they don't allow, like, 3D games on um, Weaverly, because they're too big, in my opinion. Anyway, they're too big and that's probably what they think. I'm just going to go for real rush. This is the real world. Brilliant. Um, right, so I'm just going to search a game, for instance, rail. Which area? And also it will say that it's on Android and stuff, so it is actually quite cool. Okay, so after we've done that, we're going to create a new page where I click an ad page. That it's called rail rush. It's going to be live music on in a minute. Just before that happens. Very bad, guys. Um, yeah. The first thing is we're going to type in Rail Rush, then no header. Save and edit. Now, you're not playing the game, you're not doing anything like that. It, this time it's HTML. Anyway, um, okay. So for HTML, it is really simple. Let me just get clicked to the right one. That's structure. Now, HTML, you're going to use a lot often than it seems. There we are. Embedded code. There's two names for it. There's embedded code and there's HTML. I don't know why they use embedded code, but still. Okay. So, um, the first thing I'm going to do is double click on that, and you're going to cross it. Now before you go, oh my god, have I got to write it all myself? No, you don't. Don't collapse. I don't know why you... Right, now you're going to go down and click add to my website. Okay, now it doesn't really matter, so you're going to copy all of that, all of it, every bit of it. Now it might have something like play games at mini clip, that's the problem with HTML. That's why um I edit custom. That's why I don't use HTML, I normally use um just SWF because it's a lot more well, it's a lot more your website, isn't it almost? Now there we go, look it just as mini clip play games would. Right, um mini clip are a really good company. Now it's full size, it's just exactly the same to um Okay, let's leave that because my computer hates me today. Anyway, um right. Just give it a couple of seconds because apparently it thinks that I'm going to go. Come on. Okay, right, here we are then. Finally designed to load. There we are. Right. Now you're going to no. You're going to move it into the middle because if you don't move it into the middle, it does look a bit odd, in my opinion. Okay, right. It doesn't want. Eh, there we are. There it is. That's all right. But sometimes you want games to just do that. Anyway, right. After we've done this, it's I really need a new computer. <laughs> So yeah, that's basically it. Um, you're going to click publish. Oh, here we go, here we go. Alright, you're going to click publish after you've done that. Okay, and then bam, your website's fine again. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Fingers crossed my computer will work a lot better next time. And thanks so much for watching. 
like, comment, subscribe, email me at cameronyellowbrown at gmail.com if you want more ideas, if, if you want me to do a tutorial and put it on YouTube, or you can private message me. Stay cool guys, subscribe and like, see ya.